Welcome to the realm of unexplored wonder, deep beneath the ocean surface. Here, alien-like creatures inhabit the abyss, and each day our knowledge grows as new species are discovered. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of ocean exploration, so today we're venturing into the hataplegic zone, the deepest part of the ocean, to unveil some of the most unique creatures yet discovered. Fasten your seatbelts, grab your virtual scuba gear, and let's plunge into the mysteries of the deep. At a staggering 20,000 feet below the surface, far beyond the reach of sunlight, a world in perpetual darkness thrives. This is the Abyssal Plains, nestled at the bottom of the Mariana Trench within the Hataplegic Zone. Here, temperatures hover between 0 and 3 degrees Celsius, and the intense water pressure would reduce any ordinary submarine to rubble. This nutrient-poor realm is uncharted by all but three people, thanks to specialized deep-sea rovers. One notable explorer is James Cameron, whose pioneering journey into the abyss offers a glimpse into this ethereal, unexplored world. As tectonic plates drifted apart, an underwater ecosystem sprang to life. The inhabitants of the abyss have evolved ingenious strategies to hunt, navigate, and thrive despite the harsh conditions. One such strategy is bioluminescence, a biochemical emission of light by organisms. This remarkable adaptation serves various functions in daily life, such as predator evasion, hunting, communication, and camouflage. One of the most fascinating uses of bioluminescence takes place within a species known as the anglerfish. This fish is extremely terrifying in its appearance and looks almost alien. The anglerfish gets its name for its lure-like appendage that extends from its head, which it uses to attract prey. The tip of the anglerfish's lure contains this bioluminescent bacteria, which emits a steady glow thanks to a symbiotic relationship. When an unsuspecting creature approaches the lure, the anglerfish quickly snaps it up with its large, sharp-toothed jaws. Some anglerfish can turn off their lure by retracting it into a sort of sheath or by covering it with a flap of skin. This helps the anglerfish save energy when it's not hunting or to conceal itself from its own potential predators. Another deep-sea creature that makes use of bioluminescence is a creature that was once thought to be no more than a sailor's tail, the giant squid. The giant squid has been found to have light-producing organs known as photophores scattered across its body. Scientists hypothesize that these could be used for camouflage or to confuse and scare off predators. The giant squid uses its two long tentacles to capture prey, which is lined with hundreds of suction cups each lined with ring-shaped serrated teeth. How the giant squid uses bioluminescence to hunt its prey is still being researched, but nonetheless, it's quite an amazing sight to see the giant squid's bioluminescence display amongst the pitch-black darkness of the abyss. Some of the most spectacular displays of bioluminescence comes from the many alien-like species of deep-sea jellyfish. The deep sea jellyfish are some of the most bizarre and alien like creatures that exist in all of the ocean. Here is just a few of these spectacular deep sea jellies. The Atolla jellyfish, also known as the alarm jellyfish, when threatened, creates a series of flashes which might attract larger predators that could scare off or even eat the jellyfish's attacker. Another species is the crystal jellyfish. Although not an abyssal creature, this jellyfish deserves a mention because it's the source of green fluorescent protein which has been used extensively in biological research. The Pandia rubra, another species, emits a bright red light when disturbed. Red light is relatively rare in the deep sea as most bioluminescent organisms emit blue or green light, which travels further in water. These are just a few of the magnificent jellies observed in the deep ocean environments. Of the most bizarre and fascinatingly alien-looking creatures in this deep dark ocean, one of those is the flashlight fish. The flashlight fish, otherwise known as the lantern eye fish, are named for their distinctive light organs, which are found beneath their eyes and are filled with bioluminescent bacteria. They emit a constant glow, giving the appearance of tiny flashlights. These lights attract small planktonic animals, which are the primary food source for these strange creatures. 
The blinking patterns of the lights may also be used to communicate with other flashlight fish, particularly during social or mating behaviors. A rather famous and intriguing species down in the abyss is the gulper eel. This unusual and spectacular deep sea creature is known for its extremely large mouth, which it can open wide enough to consume prey larger than itself. The gulper eel grows up to 3 feet in length, and its tail ends in a bioluminescent organ that is used to attract prey or mates. The tail of the gulper eel emits a red glow, like a faint beacon in this vast expanse of emptiness. When you approach this creature, it resembles something right out of a horror movie and will have you wondering if you're even on Earth anymore. The next creature we will be looking at is actually a group of organisms. It's made up of specialized individual animals called zooids. They function together as one. This family of creatures also includes well-known animals such as jellyfish, corals, and sea anemones. Although each colony is comprised of numerous zooids, they are all genetically identical because they all arise from a single fertilized egg. These species can produce light, usually in response to a threat or disturbance. These creatures have specialized stinging cells that are used to stun and capture prey. They can vary greatly in size and have reached lengths of over 130 feet. These are just some of the captivating alien-like creatures thriving in the dark, vast expanse of the abyss. The challenges associated with deep sea exploration make studying these creatures difficult, but as technology advances, we're gradually decoding the mysteries of the deep. Our hope is to continue mapping out this grand expanse, discovering new species, and learning more about life in this harsh ecosystem. This voyage into the deep is a testament to nature's unyielding perseverance and determination. It showcases not just survival, but the ability to thrive under the most extreme conditions. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed our adventure, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you in the future.